We have our exhaust valve right here, which I've, I've cleaned up, and you can see the edges right there. Um, I've also cleaned some of the uh, carbon. It's not really carbon. What this is is lead, because like I said before, the gentleman that owns this works at a, a uh, aircraft servicing place, and he has access to all kinds of um, 100 proof, low lead, aircraft fuel and it's it's superior to our fuel but it has a lot of lead in it so if we put this back down in the valve guide here well wait before I do that let me show you why the engine failed here in the exhaust port is a tiny pinhole and I, I, I don't believe you can see it but we talked about this before this is the pinhole port right here you can see it's kind of rough right there. But it's a small, tiny port that goes right into the exhaust valve, right down in here. And there's a little hole, and I, I need a, probably a flashlight for you to look at it. Anyway, it's right down in here. What that does is when the valve is closed, right here, these engines had a tend. Oh, excuse me. I'm trying to. I got to get my aim right. These engines had a tendency where any exhaust that was left in the cylinder would go past the valve and would go and would get into the oil supply. So what Honda did to fix that is they put a little pinhole right here. The exhaust extra exhaust gas pressure would, would go up into this orifice right here which would go into the, the head cover then it went into a one-way valve out into a tube like this right here and you can see how that, lo that tube looks pretty pregnant right there it would go through the one-way valve and then all the way over to your air cleaner so it would vent that way that way it would vent the carbon and the black stuff that's down in here it would vent that into the air cleaner instead of venting it into your oil supply because your oil supply it turns black because it has carbon grid in it if it gets way too much grid in it what happens is the carbon gets inside the bearings and destroys the bearings and once your bearings are gone, or their tits up, a good night, Irene, the fat lady has sung, it's all over, haywire, snafu, then you have to get uh, a whole new set of everything. And you can see the little piston right there. Yeah, I think that's cool. I think that's so cool. So now we have one of the valves going through the guide. You want to take, we're going to check the valve guides next as far as We'll check them for looseness. The valve guides are right here. They're about $25 a piece, I think, something like that. 